Now we're going to look at creating relationships. We'll start by adding some more models to our canvas. We'll add an interface and a class. Next, we'll modify the class properties of our models. Let's start with some class. We'll give it a new name, and we'll leave the other properties the same for now. Now let's rename the other class model. And finally, we'll rename the interface. We're almost ready to create some relationships, but first let's add a few more models to the canvas. Next, we'll give these new models some names. Now we can start defining relationships between the models on the canvas. These relationships will be visually depicted as links between a source model and a target model. We'll start by creating an association between this class and some class. An association is the most basic type of relationship and is usually implemented as an instance variable in the target class. Next, we'll create a dependency between this class and another class. You'll use a dependency link when the exact relationship between the source and target is not fully known yet. Think of it as a placeholder that you'll eventually return to update. Now we want to show that this class extends that class, so we'll create a generalization link between the two classes. A generalization is how you show inheritance in UML. Finally, we want this class to show that it implements that interface. To do so, we need to draw a realization link from this class to that interface. If you ever want to delete a relationship, simply right click on its error head and select delete from the context menu. And that's the basic workflow for creating model relationships with simple. See you next time.